sports fans and baseball fans. And, of course, Stratomatic baseball fans. We are here for game four of the NLCS of 2005, which pitted the St. Louis Cardinals against the Houston Astros. Now, as I mentioned, this is game four, so if you want to find out what happened in games one through three and know who's leading the series right now, well, you should go back and check those out. In the meantime, we've got game four right here. So um, this, the pitching matchup for game four is going to be Jason Marquis of St. Louis. In 2005, he was 13 and 14 with a 413 earned run average in 207 innings. And Brandon Backey for Houston. And in 2005, Brandon Backey was 10 and 8 with a 476 earned run average in 149 innings. So the better pitcher was certainly uh, Marquis, but we will see how that translates here on the field in this game. St. Louis is the visiting team, and uh, their lineup is the same as the last time. I believe we do have an injury that is affecting the team, and that is uh, that Hector Luna is in for um, Mark Grudzelanek at second base, because Grudzelanek is still out with an injury. So, with that having been said, and the you know, Houston's lineup is going to be the same. Uh, they're going to have the same lineup. And uh, so, with that having been said, Reggie Sanders is going to step into the box as uh, Backy finishes his warm-up throws. As you can see right here, we have St. Louis. I have the uh, scoreboard, my uh, single-score scoreboard app, and then Houston. So, follow along, people. And that is a 3-5, and that's going to be a double 1-2, but it's a single, actually. And so Sanders leads off with a single, and he is a stealing A. They are going to try to steal second base. And that is a 5. He successfully steals second base. Now Larry Walker, Larry Walker, is up at the plate with a man at second and no outs. Already back, he's in trouble. And uh, also we got to give a hit to St. Louis. And that is a 2-5, which is a single, and it's no asterisk, so they can send uh, Sanders. And Sanders is a running 1-13. to That is surprisingly bad, so they're going to hold him up. But they do have runners at the corners. And two hits with two hitters. And then Albert Pujols, the machine, is up. Whoa. And then we got a... 1-3, that's a strikeout. That is the only thing. I mean, it was right between two on-base chances. So there is a K, and there's one down with Jimmy Edmonds up. And that is a 5-8. On Backey's card, that is a walk. And so now the, the bases are full. And that brings to the plate Scott Rowland. Scotty Rowland. And that is a 6-8. That is a fly ball right field B, but it will score the runner on third and result in the second out of the inning. And uh, also a run for St. Louis. Want to get that on the board. And that brings up David Eckstein, the shortstop today. And he gets a 5-4. That is a ground ball to short. The shortstop is... Not good. I don't think I remember the shortstop being very good. It is. No, it is. It's Adam Everett. He's very good. And that is a 1, so that's an 18 and 1 at shortstop, which is an out double play. So, St. Louis, despite looking like they were going to bust the game open, they don't actually do that, and uh, it is only one nothing. The first batter for Houston leading off against Marquis is Willie Tavares. And he gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball to third, one away. Up steps Craig Abigio. That's what I was thinking, Abigio. And that is a 3-9, which is a home run 1-5, to five, but no, it's a double. He hits it off the wall, and he has a double. So Abigio is aboard, and that is the first hit. For Houston 
and Lance Berkman is up. And that is a 3-7, which is a walk. So they have two runners on with only one out. And I keep dropping dice left and right here. Morgan ends Gets a 2-12, which is a fly ball right field B. There's two down. And that brings Jason Lane to the plate. Jason Lane in 2005 hit 267 with 26 home runs. They're looking for one here. It's a 512, which is a walk. And loads the bases up. A little uh, loss of control there for Marquis. And now he has the bases loaded and Orlando Palmero at the plate. And he gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. So that does it for Houston. They don't get any runs. They came close. You would have to think, but they didn't get anything there. The batter for St. Louis to lead off the second inning for the Cardinals is Yachty Molina. And he gets a 3-5, which is a single. So he gets a hit. i got to remember to try to just read what the result would be without this, you know, considering the splits already. So Hector Luna is up. He is replacing Grudzelanek this game, and that is a 3-8, which is a ground ball double play. And that's two down. And with two outs, that brings up the pitcher. And the pitcher is Jason Marquis. And he is a five-hitter. A good hitting pitcher that particular year, and that is going to be a double. And there it is. That is another hit for St. Louis. I don't know if I missed one. I think it was a walk that I missed, so that doesn't matter. Reggie Sanders with a man uh, 180 feet away. And he gets a 4-7, which is going to be an out. It is a line out to the shortstop. And so St. Louis comes up with nothing there. We go to the bottom of the second in a one nothing game. St. Louis ahead, lots of base runners, but only one run between the two teams. And Brad Osmus is up. He gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball third base X, and the third baseman is um, Scotty Rowland, and he's a one. And uh, that is an 18 on a 1 is roll again. That is a 16. That's probably an out. It is. <coughs> so Adam Everett is up with one down. And uh, also, we got to get rid of that guy. He's not there. And that is a 3-6, which is going to be a double. Adam Everett ripping a double. So that's another hit for Houston and a man at second now. And uh, that brings up Marquis, the pitcher. Or wait a minute. No, Brandon Backey, the pitcher. And he is a three hitter. They're going to let him hit. I don't like sacrificing and there's already one out. And that is a 4-9, which is a line out to second base. So the batter is Willie Tavares with two down and a man at second. And that is a 2-6, which is a single, and they're, they're not going to send the pitcher. You don't send the pitcher from second base. So they've got runners at the corners. Another base hit. They're tied with them on hits, but they got to get tied with them on runs. On the scoreboard, and Craig Beasley. He gets a 3-6 with the dot. That's going to happen. That is actually a double, and it knocks in a run. And that's the first run for Houston. They're going to hold the runner, and Lance Berkman is up. They're headed to the middle of their lineup. They're going to let him do their thing. That is a 2-7, but that's a strikeout. But Houston does tie the game up. And we're going to go to the top of the third in a 1-1 game with Larry, Larry Walker. Larry Walker. He is up against Backy, and he gets a double. 
hits a double off the wall. Yeah. So St. Louis, this has been a really offensive game. Even though it's only 1-1, there have been a lot of base runners. The pitchers have allowed a lot of guys on base. And Albert Pujols, the machine, comes up. And he gets a double. He doubles off the wall and scores another run for St. Louis. And now St. Louis has a 2-1 to one lead and Jimmy Edmonds is up. That's a 1-5 and it's gone. Jim Edmonds hits a two-run home run. And it's 4-1 to one St. Louis all of a sudden, just like that. There are still no outs. And Scotty Rowland. Scotty Rowland gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he is out. First out for St. Louis, David Eckstein. He gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball to center field, two away. And Yachty, Yachty is up, and that's going to be a line out to shortstop. So, bad inning there for Backy, and we go to the bottom of the third. His Houston mates got to try to get him a run or two or something to get a little closer here. Morgan Ensberg facing the team. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout, one away. That brings up Jason Lane. Big Jason Lane. He gets a 3-6. That's a strikeout. Two away. So Marquis now has settled down a little bit after a bit of a rocky start. Orlando Palmero gets a 3-2, and that's a line out to second base. So no runs come in for Houston. We go to the top of the fourth with Hector Luna up for the um, St. Louis Cardinals. He gets a 5-8. That is a walk. So Hector Luna is aboard, and you got to really believe Backy isn't long for this game because he's just allowing too many base runners, and he's already down by three. With Marquis up and no outs, they will sacrifice. And that's a five. Probably worked. Um, yes, batter is thrown out by pitcher. Runners advance one. So now they've got a runner at second. And, uh, and one out. And Reggie Sanders is up. Reggie Sanders gets a 6-10, which is a ground ball second base C. Moves the runner over to third. Now they've got a runner 90 feet away, but two outs and Larry Walker up. And he gets a 3-5, which is a walk. And uh, that puts runners at first and third with two down and the machine Albert Pujols is up and that is a 311 which is a ground ball to the shortstop and he is retired so back he gets into a little bit more trouble there but he gets out of it and we go to the bottom of the fourth with Osmus the leadoff hitter for Houston that's a 212 it's a pop out Pop out to third base. So that's one down. And Adam Everett, the shortstop, is up. Adam Everett in 2005 hit 248 with 11 home runs. And that is a 6 4, which is a catcher card. And that is a 10. The catcher is uh, Yachty. And he is a, I think he's a 2. Yeah, he's a 2. And that was a 10, so let's see what that is. That's out on Dribbler, two away. And so now the batter is the pitcher, uh, Backy, and they are going to pinch hit for him right now. This is a perfect time to do that. And the pinch hitter is going to be Bagwell. 
he gets a 111, which is a ground ball second base. So Bagwell, and also, if you're wondering why Bagwell isn't playing, it's because he did not play a lot in 2005. He only had 100 at bats during the season and hit 250. So um, he he may have actually played a lot in the uh, actual NLCS. But for our purposes, he did not play as much as other players did, so I will not be doing that. And the new pitcher for Houston will be Russ Springer. And he is a batting one, but we'll deal with that when his batting card comes back up again. But yes, Russ Springer is now going to be the new pitcher and facing the St. Louis Cardinals here in the top of the fifth. And Jimmy Edmonds is the first batter that'll greet him, and that is a 5-10, which is a line is a fly ball to left field. So there's one down and Scotty rolling up. Scotty rolling gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left, and there's two down. So Russ Springer comes on, he's pitching well, and then David X. And that's a 3-3 pop out. So he comes in, he shuts the side down and gives his mates another chance to try to go out there and get at least a few runs to get a little closer with Willie Tavares, the leadoff hitter for Houston. And that is a 6-11, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is um, going to be Mr. Pujols, and he is a 2. That is a 10. I think that's an error, or otherwise on base. Yes, it is a one-base error by, um, by uh, Pujols. And, that, and Willie Tavares is an A stealer. He's going to steal. He's out. They gunned him. Yachty gunned him. One away. So he erases the air. And obviously I have to put the air up on the board. Because they did have one. Craig Biggio is up. And that is a 410. And that is going to be a fly to center. And that's Edmonds. And you know he's good. He is a 1. So that's a 20, probably a roll again. Yes, it is. And that is a two, and he's out. So that's two down. And that brings up Berkman. Lance Berkman. One eight, and that's a single. So uh, hit for Houston, a man aboard. And Morgan Ensberg, the third baseman, steps in. And he gets a 2-3, which is the ground ball shortstop. And that is out of the inning. So that gunned um, Willie uh, Tavares, gunned out at second by Yachty, changed the whole complexion of that inning and uh, made it... Um, made it, uh, you know, just changed the whole thing. And that might be a turning point in this game. So Yachty Molina is up um, because Houston got nothing there. He is up in the top of the sixth against Springer again. He's still out there. 3-8. That's a pop out to second. Springer pitched 59 innings so he's good for at least two. One away and Hector Luna up. That is a 110 ground ball to the shortstop. That's two away very quickly. And we want to get that guy off of first base. And that brings up the pitcher, Marquis. And he's pitching way too well to take him out just yet. And that is actually even a double. So he rips a double off of Russ Springer. And Marquis is at second with, that is another hit. Marquis is at second with two down, and Reggie Sanders up. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, and they are out of the inning. 
No runs come across. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It is getting late for Houston. They're going to need some runs pretty quickly here. But um, Marquis has shown no signs of wanting to give him any. Jason Lynch gets a 5-6. And that is a fly ball to the right fielder. One away. That was a deep fly ball. But uh, it was played at the wall. And there is one away. And Orlando Palmero up. That is a 6-9. And that is a ground ball to the second baseman. Marquis is not giving these guys anything. And Brad Osmus is up with two downs. And that is a 3-6. And that is going to be a strikeout. So they still don't have any runs. Um, well, they I mean, they do have one run, but they didn't get any runs there. We go to the top of the seventh with Larry Wire, Larry Walker, Larry Walker. And there will be a new pitcher for the um, Astros, even though uh, Springer spot will come up next inning. They'll deal with that when they have to. But they're going to bring in Chad Qualls. Chad Qualls in 2005 was 6-4 and four with a 328 earned run average in 80 innings all in relief. So he can go long. But we'll see if that even happens, since his batting spot will come up next inning. But right now he's facing Larry Walker of St. Louis. And that is a home run. So Larry Walker greets him with a jack. And there is another run for St. Louis. Immediately. Albert Pujols, the machine. He gets a 2-7. That is a fly ball to left. One away. With one down, you have Jimmy Edmonds up. That is a 1-9. That's a home run. Chad Qualls has just given up dongs left and right here. And that is another run. And now it is 6-1. I can guarantee you Chad Qualls is not going to be hitting in the bottom of this inning. Jim Edmonds is up with one down. Wait a minute. No. He was the one that hit the home run. Scotty Rowland. Scotty Rowland gets a 111. That is a walk. And so they're just all over Qualls. I don't know what's going on with him. But runner at first and, and only one out and extra. That is a 3-6, which is a ground ball, third base, double play, two outs and uh, on that play. And they get out of the inning, but they score another two runs. And now Houston comes to the plate with Adam Everett, the shortstop. And now they're down by five. They are in some serious trouble here now. That is a 5-10, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field Everett. Hits a fly ball, gets it up in the air, but it's an out to Edmonds, who plays the the, uh, the fly ball. And now that does bring up Qualls. Qualls' is spot, and they are going to pinch hit for him. And the pinch hitter is going to be Jose Vizcaino. They need base runners. He could be one. He gets a 5-6. And that is going to be a fly ball deep to right field. But still an out. So there is two down. And that brings up Willie Tavares with two away. And that is a 5-8, and that is a pop-out to first base. So there will be a new pitcher for Houston as St. Louis gets ready to hit in the top of the eighth. And the new pitcher is going to be Dan Wheeler. Dan Wheeler in 2005 was 2-3 two and three with a 221 earned run average. They are really burning their bullpen up. They're going to need some innings next uh, game for sure. But right now, St. Louis is batting with Yadi Molina, greeting Wheeler, and greeting him with what? It is a 6-4, and it's a fly ball left field. So Yadi flies out deep to left. There is one down, Hector Luna. 
Hector Luna gets a 6-4, and he flies out to left, so there's two away. And that brings up um, Marquis, and Marquis is really pitching so well, and he pitched 207 innings in 2005. So you got to believe he's got the uh, the ability to keep going here, and they will let him keep going. And he gets a 3-7, which is a single on his card. And that is another hit for St. Louis. The hit parade has just come to town this game for St. Louis. Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders gets a 4-10, and that is a ground ball to the third baseman. And the third baseman is... Um, it is Morgan Ensberg. He's a 2. That is a 2. That's going to be a single, probably. It is. It's a single one. So now there are two runners on. That is the 11th hit for St. Louis. And, uh, but there are two down. And that brings up Larry Walker. Larry Walker. And he gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. So he does, he is retired. No runs come in in this, in that inning for St. Louis. But they still have a 6-1 lead going into the bottom of the 8th. Craig Biggio is up for Houston against Marquis. He's still out there. Like I said, pitching really well, and that's a strikeout. So there's one away. Lance Burton gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. So Marquis, I mean, he's not losing. He's not missing anything. He has nothing. He's got everything in the, still in the bank. <laughs> More, I don't even know how to say it. 6-5 is a ground ball to the shortstop. <coughs> the shortstop for St. Louis is Eckstein, and that's a 2, so that's going to be a base hit. Berkman getting a base hit. Maybe they can start something here, but they got to start it with two outs. And Morgan Ensberg up. And that is a 4-11, and that is a, ground, a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is, I believe, that's, um, who is that? That is actually Sanders, and he's a 4. And that is a 4. That might actually be an out. It is. And so they don't get any runs in the 8th. We go to the top of the ninth. 6-1 lead for St. Louis with um, Albert Pujols up against Dan Wheeler. That is a 6-8, and that is a strikeout. So Pujols is down. Pujols, surprisingly, has been not really all that great in this series. Everybody else, though, has been pretty good. Jim Edmonds gets a 6 Seven, and that is a strikeout. So Edmonds goes down on strikes, and there's two down quickly, and yeah, there's nobody on. And um, Scotty Rowland. Scotty Rowland gets a 1-6. That is going to be a double. He rips a double. So another hit, yet another hit for St. Louis. And a man only 180 feet away with two down, and Eckstein up. And that is a 3-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is the end of the inning for St. Louis. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Astros have to have five runs right here just to keep the game going. And Jason Lane will be the first batter to try to do that. That is a 1-3. It's a ground ball third base. Orlando Palmero comes up with one down. That is a 1-9. That's a fly ball to center, and it's all up to Osmus. And they will let him hit. I mean, he hit 258. They don't have a lot of great pinch hitting on here, and that's a 5-6, which is going to be a fly ball to right field. And that is it. That's your final score right there. The Houston Astros have gone down to St. Louis in defeat to St. Louis by the score of 6-1 to one 
in game four of the NLCS. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.